Hey guys, Dustin with the PPC Pros doing this quick video for all the people out there who are getting started with Google Shopping. Google Merchant Center, there's a feature that came out last year that a lot of people really didn't talk about. And I mean, it's really for people who have a small number of products and it's just a way that Google Merchant Center released to make adding products to a feed or to your account much easier. So in the past, you would have to use a Google Sheet if you had a small list of products and you want to use a third-party software or an app, um, if you had a lot of products, this really won't apply to you. This is more for people who have maybe less than 50 or 100 products and they don't mind um, going into Google Merchant Center, updating information time to time. I wouldn't say this affects a lot of people, but we've had several clients that only have maybe a dozen SKUs, a few variants, and this can make it a little bit simpler, like one less step to do once it's all set up. Um, so. I want to share this feature with you. It's basically a way you can add products directly in Google Merchant Center. I'm in our test non-setup account, as you can see right here. And basically all you need to do is log into your Google Merchant Center. You still have to do all the setup stuff, verify your business, all that. But let's come into products. And now you can see brand new account. You can add single product like this. There's also some other methods for adding multiple products. We'll just focus on single product at the moment. And you go ahead and click here and you can see right now a simplified dashboard that has all of the uh, required fields you would need to get a product into approval um, and then hopefully or into a pending status and then hopefully approved. You can also see they have a toggle for advanced features or advanced fields um, where you can get a little bit more information. For example, the mobile link pops up Whoops, in this section here, but all the basic fields that you need, um, pricing, your product description, the variants. If you have product variants, you can also add those here as well, which is pretty helpful. You can get a real mess in Google Sheets sometimes, kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, so play around with that. At the bottom, you could also see here uh, shipping, tax, and returns. At the bottom here, uh, they do have your option for custom labels. So you have custom labels here you can use if you're new to Google Shopping or Google Merchant Center. Custom labels can help you um, put products into segments or into buckets. Some of those segments, some of those buckets could be whether a product is a bestseller or not, uh, whether a product is a certain uh, is a certain category. So maybe you have products that are, you know, for men, some for women. Of course, you can go off of gender, but I'm just giving that as an example. Maybe some are, you know, high price, some are low price, things like that. You can uh, allocate where you can segment them out. I, I would rec recommend come up with a plan for how you plan to segment out products based on some of your goals, but you can do it for, again, different segments, different return on ad spend targets, different you know times of the year. If you wanna you know have promotions for Black Friday, you can add a custom label for Black Friday for all those products to do something different with those, turn them on, turn them off, that sort of a thing. Um, and then product category, which is something that you need to add so you can tell Google what this product, where it really fits. And this, you can just, if you're not sure where to get them, they don't have a drop down or anything here to make it easy. Just go to Google and type in Google product taxonomy. Oop, if I can type today. It is Sunday, so Google product taxonomy, and you'll see a few options. One's a spreadsheet, one is a plain text um, file. You can just do like a control F, find, and uh, type in your product name or the product type. You'll find it there. One other cool thing that they do when you have a product set up is you can easily duplicate the product. So let's say you've got, it could be a variant or it could be whatever. Maybe you just want to start off with a lot of the same information. Um, once you add the product, you can actually hit, you know, duplicate or copy. I forget which way they word it. And basically you're starting off with the same base information. You could just, obviously the SKU is not going to be the same. Um, the product ID, I should say. But you can start off with a lot of the same information. So it does make adding very similar products. Uh, faster. Of course, you don't want to use the same product title, same description all the time. Uh, in some cases, you may. So that is one cool feature as well. But uh, yeah, so I thought I'd share this with you guys because there wasn't too many people talking about it anywhere. And a lot of the new people always wonder, like, what's the best way to add products? How do we get started? And so this is a pretty cool feature that Google Merchant Center added for people just like you and you don't have a lot of products and you don't want to go through a third party app or make it, you know, another thing to manage. So hope this helped. Hope you have, if you have any questions, post in the comments below. And thanks for watching on a Sunday.